What up, everybody? On the Ghost Season 3 finale, we saw Tasha try to catch her second body when she did a drive-by shooting at Monet Tejada. All the time Tasha has been on power and all the dirt she has done, she still has only one kill to her name. That just goes to show the whole drive-by thing she tried to pull on Monet wasn't really her lane. Either though Tasha has no problem being a shot caller and telling someone else who needs to go. But going back to Tasha's first kill, it was her longtime best friend, Lakeisha Grant. At the end of the day though, Tasha really initially had not intended to kill Lakeisha. Tasha wasn't even strapped when she showed up to her new house. She just wanted to make sure Keisha wasn't going to change the alibi that she had for Tariq. Being at the penthouse tonight, Ray Ray was killed. But when she got there, she saw all the bags packed and the paperwork that Keisha signed, saying she would snitch on Tommy. So Tasha tried telling Keisha that she had to wait there until Tommy got home. But Lakeisha panicked and ran for her gun, and the rest was history. Keep in mind, Keisha had already killed the goon 2-bit and Spanky sent to her. Not to mention she was on edge after Kate told her that Tommy killed Holly. So after hearing that, there was no way she was going to wait around until Tommy got home. But the thing is, if she would have waited, she might still be alive. Because Tommy loved her so much, I don't think he would have killed her. Even when he found out she signed the paperwork. But we will not get the chance to see and find out. And young Cash Grant has to grow up without a mother. This makes me think about how Tommy said Ghost had no mom. I wonder if she actually didn't abandon him like Kate Egan did JP. Or Kenya did to Jukebox. But she was actually killed when he was a young kid also. But the night Keisha was killed, Tommy was planning to propose to Keisha. And even had Cash pick out the engagement ring. And Tommy told Cash, if I give your mom this ring, this will make us family. But we know Tommy got home to find Lakeisha laid on the ground dead. After this, Tommy took Cash to stay with his dad, Kadeem. It did appear that Tommy and Kadeem knew each other. It was said on the show that Kadeem had spent some time in prison. Most likely he is or was in the game on some level. Plus, Keisha had always been around from the time Ghost met Tasha because they were best friends. So with Tommy being close to Ghost, they could have ran into each other at parties, events, or whatever during the time that Kadeem and Keisha were together. I mean, plus Tommy and Keisha had been together for a minute at this point anyway, so Tommy had probably just seen Kadeem around picking up or dropping off cash. We also know that Tommy is still in touch with Cash and Kadeem because this is where Tariq found Tommy in Ghost Season 1 when he convinced him to fake his death and leave New York. Either though we never saw Tariq on camera with Cash or Kadeem, the fact he knew where to find Tommy also shows that they know each other as well. I mean, of course, what kid doesn't know his mom's best friend's children? So what could bring Cash back into the picture? Sticking with Kadeem, since he had been to prison and most likely has ties to the streets, the easiest way to bring Cash back would be Kadeem to get killed and for Cash to have no parents. Since Keisha's death was sudden and unexpected, and since she was still on at least okay terms with Tasha before she got killed, I mean, I know she was talking a lot of ish about the St. Patrick's and all, but what if she put Tasha as the legal guardian to take in cash if something happened to her and Kadeem? If Lakeisha wasn't thinking about being killed, that might have been something she did when she was a lot younger that she never had changed when she started beefing with Tasha. Then Tasha would get the news that she has to take in the son of the woman that she killed. I believe Cash is currently around 16 years old, so this would be the perfect time to bring this character back for development. I think Tariq was around 15, 16 years old when his character started getting interesting and really getting developed. 
This would also place cash in the same house as Yaz. This could allow us to get more of a look into Yaz growing up as well. And what a toxic situation. Living with his mother's killer and doesn't even know it. But the only three people who knew what Tasha did is Tasha, Tariq, and Tommy. Plus Ghost knew also. So here would be the craziest twist ever. Tasha takes Cash in and raises him like her own son for a few years until he turns 18. Then on his 18th birthday, he gets a letter from Ghost, letting him know who his mother's killer is, Tasha St. Patrick. The drama to see what Cash would do about this would be crazy. Could Cash's first body actually be Tasha? Then how would Tariq react to this? Because he does know Tasha killed the boy's mom. Another scenario for Cash to return would be the same thing happens. Kadeem gets killed in a drug deal gone wrong, a gang shooting, or whatever. But instead of going to live with Tasha, Cash makes the call to Tommy in Chicago and moves to the shy with Tommy. Now of course things will be a little complicated because Tommy is supposed to be dead. So he wouldn't be able to be the legal guardian of Cash. But Kate had all those boxes in her house like she was about to be moving. So we could see Cash get taken in by Kate Egan after his dad is killed just like she took in Ghost. Then Tommy would be close to provide and check in. But he wouldn't be close enough to be a target of one of Tommy's enemies. Plus Cash and D-Mac are around the same age. So they could definitely get into some trouble together. Of course, Tommy doesn't want either one of them in the life. But he didn't want to reek in the life either. When someone wants in the life, there is very little you can do to change their mind. Each person has to have their own revelation that the life isn't for them. A revelation I wonder if Tommy Egan will ever have concerning his own life. Because he knows it's not best for the kids to get into the game. When is he going to use this common sense and take all that money and get out of the life? Getting me to my final scenario for Cash to return. And that is Kadeem is connected to the Tejadas. Possibly Kadeem will be Monet's next love interest. Or he could even be a distro for Kane and Drew. What if Blanca Rodriguez stops by Kadeem's place during her investigation into Lakeisha's death, asking for information, and lets Kadeem know that Keisha agreed to testify against Tommy? Or she could even let her know about Keisha working with Tasha, giving Kadeem motive to go after either Tasha or Tommy. A couple more things about Cash's backstory before I go. He got jumped by some kids when he was living in Tommy's neighborhood. And Cash is also a basketball player. One of the first things they did when they moved to the suburbs was enroll Cash in a youth basketball league. And there you have it, the return of Cash Grant. How do you see Cash returning? Leave your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.